Hello and welcome to today. Um, I guess early Monday. Uh, it was Monday getting to near. Um, I want to wish everybody a happy National Pretzel Day. And what I wanted to do today is I, as a lot of people know, I do a lot of work drawing with kids. And today I worked with some kids and we were doing um, pretzel drawings because it's it's National Pretzel Day, one of my favorite snacks. Uh, and so I had this sketch I've been doing with kids the majority of the day, uh, depending on the age group. Um, we did like silly animals eating pretzels, uh, some chibi characters uh, eating pretzels. But for, with most of them, I did, I did a nice like street vendor or somebody you'd see maybe at like the circus or whatever. And I thought um, if you have kids, well, especially young kids, any, any age from like probably kindergarten and first grade and up, this would be a fun, uh, fun drawing either to show them or do with them. So, you know, feel free to, you know, watch along, share this one, you know, either now or when it's over. Um, I'd be happy to, uh, happy if you do. Uh, I think kids will like it. I had a lot of fun with the kids today doing this. So let me get over to my Photoshop here and get a better color because I thought I already had one chosen. And I'm going to work in a, in a reddish right now, a little, maybe a little darker. Um, let me get a pencil out. Which brush do I have set up? Not that. I'll go to my dry brush. And I'm going to use this one right here. Okay. So the first thing, oops, I don't know why a spot came up. The first thing I did is I had the kids draw a circle. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, as good as a circle as you can get. Um, one of the tips I tell kids to do is create your circle above the paper. And then when you're ready and you got that nice motion, draw the circle down. I'm kind of a bit of a messy sketcher, so um, I'm just kind of doing it this way right now. And then kind of around where the center is, kind of eye it. Add a tinier circle. Make it smaller. And this is going to be the big wheel of the, of the pretzel cart. And I'm going to divide it up and make spokes in this wheel. Now, I, you can divide it up as many times as you like. I kind of like to make, uh, let me fix that there. I kind of like to go, break it in fours and go in the middle. And if you want to do more, divide it up half again. I wouldn't go more than, than this, though. Anything more than this will look a little weird, in my opinion. All right. And... Then, what I'm going to do, give you guys a moment to make the spokes. All right. What I want to do is I want to draw a rectangle. Do the, whoops, do the best you can, and it's okay to erase. Remember that, always okay to erase, and I'll be doing that in a moment because I freehand, so I'm not using actual rulers right now. And although I do have a ruler attached to some felt to go across my, uh, my Cintiq here, but I don't want it to go all the way to the end. I want it to come in and hit around the middle of the wheel here because now this is going to be the size of the car. Hi, Alfred. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And now we got to make the other wheel of the car. So I'm going to add a little rectangle little triangle and then I put another tiny circle and that's the tiny wheel and they should fall along the same imaginary line and I'm gonna just shade this in to make it look a little different all right next up I'm gonna put a rectangle in here and I'm gonna thicken up the bottom and the right side, give it that little shadow feel. And in there, I'm going to write the word pretzels. P-R-E-T-Z-E-L-S. Now, if I was doing this 
uh, for a professional project, I would actually border those out and make them line up. Maybe I'll do a little design, kind of find the center, which would be like right around here and create a nice little old school, you know, this might, you might find this in like gold or something, you know. Um, maybe even a little there. I'm just going to move this down a bit so I have a bit more room to work. All right. And now I'm going to add another rectangle. This is how basically big and wide the card is. And where we'll find the find the, the guy inside. And then one more rectangle right here. What we're going to do next is we're going to put two slanted lines, one here and one here, and we close it up with a straight line. So this is kind of like the roof or an awning, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, and these are normally striped, you know. So the way I create my stripes is I'm going to create two lines, and I'm going to follow the direction of this slant here on this side here. And I'm going to do two straight lines down following this piece right here. So I'm following the slant and I'm following this straight here. And then I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to come down. I'm not going to do the center one right now. I'm going to come now to this side and this slant and this straight now. Oops, let me undo that. I want to move it over a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Another one. And then the one in the center, I'm going to follow a little bit of that slant, and then I'm going to follow a little bit of the other slant, and I'm going to put it straight down. And these would get colored in. And you can color it in whatever color you want. I'm just going to stick with my red because that's the pencil I'm drawing in right now. Thanks, Alfred. I'm glad you're tuning in. Once you've colored that in, let's draw some straight lines down here. These are going to be the poles to the awning on each side. And I'm going to draw another line down right here. And in this line, uh, well, in this box I just made. I'm going to create another box. Another rectangle. Okay, and I'm going to fix that because my erase there. Oops. Let's put it there. Just fix that there. Let me get my eraser out. Okay. All right. Now this is the the I guess if you want to call it the heater, the warmer where the pretzels are. And I'm going to put a couple of lines for shelves. Now, you know, most of the time pretzels hang or are stored on these shelves. I'm going to make the pretzels in a moment, but I'm going to zoom in so I can show you how to do that. So before we do that, let's put another rectangle here. And we're going to thicken up the sides, all of them, with a little line right here. And that's your napkin dispenser. Now with a tall rectangle and a small thin rectangle and a little triangle on top, you've created the mustard. Now I don't know how many people put mustard on there, pretzels. I actually enjoy a nice hot pretzel with mustard. Um, so that's good. 
Now I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can look right here at how I make the pretzels. And I'm sorry for the pixelation, but I think it should be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a little loop like this, almost like I'm making a bow. Now I'm going to come up and come down. And if you want, you can thicken it up a bit. And they don't have to be perfect, right? Not all pretzels are perfect. So I want to come out that way more and bring it down like that. And I'm just going to keep making pretzels that look like this. And if you kids out there are having trouble making these, I'm going to show you a quick technique that could help you out. Okay. All right. So those are my pretzels. I'm going to leave them there. If you're having a difficult time making the pretzels, the pretzels, if you can draw a heart, you can draw a pretzel. So let's first draw a heart, but instead of coming to a point, make it round at the bottom, right? And then come up to the top here and cross. And there, you just made a pretzel. All right. Let's come over a little bit, zoom out a bit. Let's come over to here. All right. So just give me one second, guys. Okay. So, and I'm looking. Oh, Ari, thanks for for tuning in. I'm glad your daughter's. Uh, I'm glad your daughter's trying to do this. Excuse me about this. Uh, this video will be up on YouTube and on Facebook here, so you guys can always look back on it. I'm, and I'm hoping she's enjoying it. Now we got to create the vendor. I'm going to create an old timey vendor. You know, a nice handlebar mustache and and all that. So I'm going to start with a circle for his head. And then I'm going to bring a curved line down. Once you bring the curved line down, create like a sideways letter L. And then a little line up there, and that's going to be his arm. It's going to be leaning on the counter there. Right. And I'm going to make a curved line right down here. I'm going to make a couple of bumps now. One, two, and three. And I'm going to connect it right there. Give me guys a moment to catch up. And when you do, I'm going to put a curved line here, but I'm not going to connect because I'm going to make this like noodle shaped arm. All right. And after you make the noodle shaped arm, we're going to go one, two for lines, a little circle on the edge because he's wearing, it's going to be wearing like a, a collared shirt. All right. And those are the buttons down at the bottom. Next, I'm going to make two sideways triangles for a bow tie. And then two triangles on the side here. All right. Now, he's going to be wearing a striped shirt. So what I want, them, what I want you to do is when you make the stripes, just kind of follow the direction that the curve is. So just like we did for the awning up here, if you have a character with a curve this way, it's going to curve until it starts to get a little straight towards the middle and then start curving in the other direction towards the other curve. And we'll put two curved lines in here. Okay. I'm also going to put a little hat on him. 
like a paper hat with a couple of stripes on it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a thumb and a little bump for that little fatty part of your, you know, thumb. And here I'm going to draw a pretzel. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a couple of fingers. One. And you know what? Let me do a little erasing. You're not going to see this one right here. One, two, and then the other finger is holding it up. Okay. Now, for his eyes, I'm just going to put in two dots right now. You could make big, um, you can make big circles around them. Do whatever you want. Like you could put them in like that, or kind of like a parenthesis on each. I'll just leave them like that for now. And I'm going to give them big, thick eyebrows and a nose that's going to be kind of like that, like a backwards letter C, a little fat. Now, because he's going to be an old-timey pretzel vendor, I want him to have a, uh, a, a uh, what's it called, a handlebar mustache. So to create the handlebar mustache, it's going to be a, a curve like this, just like you're making a sideways letter S on both sides. And then we're just going to come back and follow that same pattern up into the nose. And that gets filled in. I'm going to give him a little smile. All right. The next thing is I'm going to put a couple of ears on them. Whoops. I'll put an ear right here. And I'm going to get my eraser out and just erase on this side, not the other. It's because of the direction the nose is facing. So we're going to see, you know, kind of inside the ear here. And he's going to be bald on top and have hair on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a box right here little rectangle or square and I'm gonna fill that in. I'm gonna do the same thing kind of in but in a triangular shape it makes it look like his head is turned a bit. All right and when I zoom out um give me one second I'm sorry okay Uh, where am I here? Sorry, I'm on the wrong screen here. Okay. And when I zoom out, we can now see, and I'll erase these pretzels I made on the side here. Showing you how to make the pretzels. What I want to do, number one, you see the entire picture right now. And what I want to do is I want to add couple of curved lines around here and make it look like he's waving pretzels around. I'm going to add a horizon line, which is a line that goes behind the drawing so it doesn't look like it's on, you know, if you put it right down here, it looks a little weird. So we put it a little behind to show that there's some perspective, right? And you can now decide where is he? Is he on the streets? Is he at a carnival? Where is he? You could draw whatever background. I'm going to just draw um, kind of like he's in the city. So I'm just going to add a little quick tree right here. All right. A little... All right. Make like a cloud to make the leaves here. Little bumps in them. Maybe some very light lines to show texture. Whatever you want there. And if he is in in a uh, on the city street, um, he would probably be on the sidewalk or right in front of the sidewalk. So we can create another another line there. Um, 
But you know what? I'm going to make him like in a park. I like the idea of him being in a park. So maybe I'll make a little hill. And on the hill, I'm going to put a bench. So it's a slanted rectangle like that. And then a flat rectangle like this with legs. All right. And we can draw some wood in there. All right. Um, what else could be in a park? Maybe some bushes, right? Maybe a bush right here. You throw in maybe some tiny rocks and the grass. All right. And down at the bottom, I'm going to write Happy National Pretzel and we'll put day down here. Normally I wouldn't do that. I, I like it all on one line. You know, let's let's fix that for me because I don't like it that way. And I'll do that. And let me just uh, move it over. There we go. Now it's officially centered. And maybe I'll also have it say something like uh, uh, get your pretzels here. Put a little balloon with a pointer going to his mouth there. And when you're done, don't forget to sign it. And date it if you'd like. And there is an old-timey pretzel vendor at the park selling pretzels. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun. Uh, had a lot of fun doing it. It was a it was a great time. Uh, the kids I worked with today loved it. I really enjoyed it. So uh, I'll be back maybe another time, hopefully soon, with another uh, how to draw tutorial. All right, guys. This will be up on Facebook and YouTube. Excuse me, so you can watch it whenever you want. And please. Hey, bring your kids along to view it, share it. Um, you know, I'll do I'll do a few more of these in the next couple of weeks. All right, maybe I'll even do another one this week if I have a time. So you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.